We are in New Plymouth, the main town of the Taranaki Rugby Football Union on the west coast of the North Island of New Zealand. So the Ranfurly Shield is the oldest piece of silverware in New Zealand rugby. It's a challenge shield. Taranaki has held the shield six times, so we're currently in our sixth tenure, and it's been operating since 1904. So it's a really big deal to hold it, and a really big occasion to defend it. And we're really excited that we've got it in the province currently, and long may that continue. You sort of hear the, the tales of the, of the Rand Furley matches, and you know the teams just um, step up to another level. There's a lot of hype around it, and um, you know, one day I'm sure it'll be back in Auckland rugby's hands where, where, where it belongs, but you know, for now we'll just um, bide our time and, and wait for it. It kind of represents all that's good about, about rugby at, at a, a level down from Super Rugby, and um, anyone can win it, anyone can hold on to it, but when the Shield is won by a union, and Taranaki is a great example, um, it's not stuck in a cabinet somewhere, it's always out, it's doing the rounds, there's kids touching it, there's people getting selfies with it, and um, it really means a lot to community rugby. The way it started really, I mean, it was, it was something that um, every union in the country wanted to get their hands on. To have it was, was uh, you, you were seen as, as the prestigious union in the country if you had the Ranfurly Shield, so it just grew from there and uh, the passion around playing for it and, and the parades and things that happened back in those days uh, was just incredible, you know, absolutely incredible. The only sort of experience I had was as a part of the Auckland team in 2015, I want to say. We had a shot against Hawke's Bay. Um, didn't win it, but you know, we, we had the whole squad travel down. Um, we had the whole sort of Auckland rugby contingent travel down, you know, and that just shows how, how special the waters and how prestigious that shield is. The big thing was in, in, the, in the 50s when Taranaki first got the shield after 35 years, and that was a big stepping stone from Taranaki rugby then, from say 57 onwards. Taranaki's been one of the stronger provinces in New Zealand. Well, I first started Taranaki in 64 and uh, made a regular member of the Taranaki team. And then you were invited, I think I had my first All Black trial in uh, 65. It was a North Island trial and, and then it sort of progressed from there. I had a lot of guys ahead of me, uh, the Meads and, and Lahores and all that were playing when I was playing, so it was pretty hard to get into. Finally in 72, got into the final trial and unfortunately I made it. I kept on playing um, after that tour in 72. I never got in the All Blacks again, but I was in trials. And then uh, my 100th game was against England. In, in 1973, and we actually beat England 6-3. And then I got on to that I was getting close to 200 games, so uh, went for that, and actually uh, my 200th game, we played against Italy, Taranaki did, and uh, we won that game as well. The key is to grow the game, make sure that a five-year-old can grow up in New Zealand anywhere in this province with a dream of becoming an All Black. So the region has 19 clubs, eight play in the Premier Club competition, so Clifton is our most northern club, and we go all the way to Hara in the south, and we have the Coastal Club, which is on the west coast of the province. Bodie Barrett uh, grew up, like, literally two roads down from here. He played for our, uh, he played for obviously Francis Douglas, but he played for our, uh, our Colts team for a couple of times and played for our senior team and then he was, uh, he got called into Taranaki reasonably early on and through the Hurricanes and through the All Blacks obviously and now far of the year, two years in a row. So he was playing on these very fields a few years ago. So it just goes to show our young guys and it goes to show anyone that there's a pathway. You don't have to be a superstar in Auckland to have the pathway. It, it can come from grassroots rugby just as well as anywhere. So yeah, we're pretty proud of that. A huge turnout of spectators and support and that goes with us all year, you know, like we've had uh, great support. It's probably probably one of the biggest sports in Taranaki. Boys are passionate about coming back and being part of that, so uh, it's a special culture relevant to, to the area. It's sort of a, a final in itself, um, so for, for teams that get the shot, who might not be in the finals um, per se, then they have their final that game, so if they win the win for the Shield, you know, it's second best to winning the comp. Just lift the game to a whole nother level when, when that shield's on the line and pretty tough when, when you get it.